Well, the sheriff says for some politics might be involved, but for him, it's really just trying to protect residents at a time of increasing crime and overdoses. It, it's tragic um, what, what's happening in our county. Uh, violent crimes going up. Johnson County Sheriff Calvin Hayden says the recent arrest of six young teens for murder is just the latest connection between drugs and violent crime in the county. You know, these are kids that are out in the middle of the night shooting at each other, 13, 14 years old. I don't know how we get to this point. It's tragic, and, and we've got to be able to, to do something about this. Tomorrow, Sheriff Hayden will try to get to what he believes could be the root of the problem, traveling to the U.S.-Mexican border, where he'll tour the area, meet with Border Patrol officers, and attend briefings. You know, we're kind of in a, in a bubble here in Johnson County, and um, I want to uh, see what's, what's happening, talk to those guys down there, see what their operations are, see what they're finding. And it'll give us an idea of at least maybe educate some of our citizens and our law enforcement. Hayden says undocumented immigrants haven't posed a problem in the county, but drugs traveling the I-35 corridor are, especially the increasing amount laced with fentanyl. 12,000 pounds of fentanyl-related substances have been seized at the border the past 14 months. If it wasn't for Narcan, uh, we would have hundreds of, of overdose deaths, hundreds. Hayden and other Kansas sheriffs will make the trip with Senator Roger Marshall, who's supporting the Halt Fentanyl Act and concerned about the expiration of legislation which reduced migration during the pandemic at the southern border. They're all worried about Title 42 and another huge influx of these guys coming over. I don't have any authority over that. My authority is to keep our citizens safe. So that's the essence of what why I'm going. Now the sheriff's going to be at the border for three days. Fox 4, of course, working for you. And John will be sure to follow up with him and find out what he saw and learned when he gets back.